And the first thing we have up here is obesity. Let me ask you to predict, where are the uh, worst areas of obesity in the city of Cleveland? Okay, and uh, so the answer is where the food deserts are, probably. Uh, an accurate question. Do you happen to know where the food deserts might be concentrated? Uh, east side, east side. Uh, those same red-lined areas. Uh, we're, we're back to that historical factor. Uh, and when we look at the mapping here, uh, you can see, again, a very strong uh, correlation of the um, uh, obesity with uh, uh, those east side suburbs, or sorry, those east side, the east side of uh, urban Cleveland. Um, uh, but let's look at uh, no leisure time activity. That's less concentrated there. So uh, no leisure time activity, no exercise um, is also more prevalent on the west side, isn't more exclusive to the east side as we saw for obesity which may come back to that issue that this gentleman brought up about the food deserts that are on the east side, but not on the west side. So they don't exercise there, but they've got more access to healthy food. Uh, yes? Uh, why is the data only collected for Cleveland? Someone might look at some of these measures and make the assumption that this is only a city problem when it's really a regional problem. So uh, the reason that uh, that is the case is that the data is made available to us by a project called the 500 Cities Project. Uh, this looked at um, uh, a Robert Wood Johnson sponsored uh, project through the CDC that examined um, uh, BRFSS in the 500 largest cities in the United States, uh, also including uh, every state. Um, so if a state didn't have a 500 city, uh, one of the largest 500 cities, the largest city in that state was also included. Um, uh, so we actually have uh, access to data for uh, Cleveland, Akron, Youngstown, a number of Northeast Ohio uh, cities, Canton we have. Uh, it's one of the 500 largest cities. Um, uh, but it doesn't extend outside of those cities. Um, it's also important to know that this data is uh, essentially imputed data. It's estimated data. And there have been studies that they've done to examine the accuracy of those estimates that show, again, that it's quite good. Uh, but this is the first time, because of that project, we've ever had the uh, availability of census tract level data about adult behavior, disease, and prevention. Um, uh, and uh, for those of us who work with this, it's really exciting. So there is some of this that's also going to be uh, counterintuitive. Uh, so that's uh, no leisure time activity. Uh, let's look at smoking. And you'll see, oops, see with smoking, um, uh, again, it is uh, more, uh, moved more towards the west side, not exclusive to that, those east side suburbs. Uh, and um, one of the things that really addresses the point you made is that the highest incidences of, uh, of smoking in Cuyahoga County are the near what the, the first ring west side suburbs, uh, Parma. Uh, and, quite sure has the highest rate of smoking in Cuyahoga County. So it doesn't pick that up with this data, uh, but um, uh, it does allow us to at least look at the city of Cleveland. You also see here there's a bit of data suppression where some neighborhoods there wasn't enough um, uh, population or data uh, to make the estimates.